One of the most common cues out there is knees out, and that's because a very frequent issue with lifters is heavy squats, the knees are driving in. Okay, so we're trying to avoid that. But if you take it too far, you're driving your knees out on your descent like this, you're likely to get an even worse kickback. The same muscles that abduct your hip can also internally rotate it. So that's gonna put you into a worse position than before. So what are your options? Well, obviously conditioning exercises over time are gonna be irreplaceable in fixing that issue, but for short-term cueing, I'd rather see knees forward, okay? It's gonna help you track neutrally, it's gonna help you evolve your quads a little bit more, it's gonna hopefully take some of that over-rotation out of your squat. I hope you found that useful, and if you did, I'm gonna see you in the next. Weight in your heels is an important cue for newer lifters. Oftentimes, they're uncomfortable in a deep flexion position like a squat, and it helps them avoid getting their weight forward and losing their heels off the ground. But you're also running the risk of going too far backwards, and you're losing some stability and strength through your foot. If we're talking about cueing our feet in a squat, two other cues for you. Screwing your feet into the ground and spreading the floor. I don't particularly like either of those. There's a time and a place for them. But they're designed to get your glute involved with the squat, and that's absolutely fine. Something that hopefully will fix all three of those issues is having the weight through your heels, but also driving down with your big and little toe. If you do this, even just standing here, you should get a tiny little bit of glute activity, and that should be enough to keep you stable and strong through your squat. I see a lot of coaches cueing their athletes to turn their feet out if they're struggling with mobility in the squat. That's a short-term fix, maybe that's okay, and to a degree, that's absolutely fine. We have to make sure, though, that our knees are following suit. Especially with an overhead squat, ankle mobility can play a very big role in your ability to hit depth. So, if we're turning our feet out, our knees have to follow suit as well. So we need that hip mobility. If we don't have that, it's gonna end up looking like this. And anatomically, that position is that position. So we obviously want to avoid that. I don't have a cue for you, but what I do have is some advice. Make sure that you're working on your ankle mobility, progressing your body's ability to track its knee over its foot. Be harsh with yourself, be strict, and make sure that you have something that is forcing you to track in the right line and you're not going through a compensation pattern like that. This video series is intended to be good cues gone bad, but here's a cue that I've been seeing lately that's just plain bad, and that's to get the bar behind your head as much as possible in a snatch, or in the catch of the snatch. Now all that's going to do is put your shoulders at risk and also uh, change your centre of gravity and affect your, your whole movement up and down your chain. Realistically, the bar only needs to go as far back as you are inclining yourself forward, so if you're a very upright squatter, the bar can theoretically stay just over the top of your head. If you've got long femurs and you're having to hip flex a lot, then yes, it might have to come a little bit behind your head. But you're always just trying to keep it over your center of gravity.